One of the most incredible yet often overlooked parts of any forest ecosystem are mosses, and out here in a coastal forest, the biomass of vegetative moss can be double that of the surrounding forest. So mosses are non-vascular plants, which means they don't have the ability to control the flow of water or nutrients within themselves, and instead, their shape is taken on purely by the cellular structure of their walls. Think of it kind of like microscopic balloon origami. When there's a lot of water present, the water is absorbed through the pores, which inflates the leaf, expanding it to its full rigid shape, and then when they dry out, they deflate and kind of shrivel up. Now, many mosses have evolved to have sh structures or shapes that, uh, you know, reduce moisture loss, such as curling inward to reduce surface area when it's dry and then fanning out when it's wet to absorb as much as possible, which can be quite a bit. I mean, some sphagnum mosses can hold up to 26 times their, their dry weight in water. So this spongy nature of mosses not only stores water, but regulates its flow through these ecosystems, slowing its runoff while creating a damn cool microclimate that everything here loves. And when we log these forests, especially old growth ones with tons of moss, all this moss gets exposed to dry, hot sunlight, which kills it, destroying not only the cool microclimate it needs in order to regenerate, but the spongy water absorbing and controlling ecological function that keeps rivers from silting up and flooding downstream.